Hello. In previous videos, you looked at the conversational style used in broadcast media. In this video, you'll learn how to use stress and pausing to help you read out your story. Stress and pausing are important for broadcasters because they can help to communicate the important information in a sentence and can also give the audience time to understand the meaning of the story. We'll look at two ways to help you. One, stressing keywords, and two, pausing. Let's talk about stress first. In a sentence, some words are more important than others. These are usually the content words, the words that give you the facts of the sentence. If you didn't have these words, the sentence wouldn't make sense. The content words are usually the ones that a broadcaster stresses, to let the audience know the important facts of a story. When you are speaking, you stress a word by saying it a little bit louder and a little bit slower. Let's look at an example sentence and see if we can find which words need to be stressed. A huge fire swept through a factory in downtown Baltimore last night. Of course, you need to say all the words in the sentence, but some are key, very important, to understanding the sentence. Do you remember those WH questions you looked at earlier? You could ask those same questions now to find out the key words. What happened? A fire. Where? In a factory in Baltimore. When? Last night. So, the key information in this sentence is fire, factory, Baltimore, and night. And these are the words we will stress. A huge fire swept through a factory in downtown Baltimore last night. Take a look at another example. The government announced plans to close three hospitals at the start of next year. Let's ask our WH questions again. Who? The government. What? Closing three hospitals. When? Next year. These are the words we will stress. The government has announced plans to close three hospitals at the start of next year. A second way to help you read out your script is pausing. Pausing means stopping for a short time before you read the next word. There are several good reasons for doing this. First, it gives your listeners time to understand what you just said. Second, it makes your overall speed slower and so makes your speech easier to understand. Third, it lets you break your sentence into groups of words, each containing at least one key word or phrase. Let's look again at the examples we used earlier and think about pausing. A huge fire swept through a factory in downtown Baltimore last night. Here we have three different parts to the sentence, each containing at least one key word. By pausing, we can give our listeners time to understand the information we're saying. Let's look at the second example. The government has announced plans to close three hospitals at the start of next year. Again, we have three different parts to the sentence, each containing at least one key word. So, in this video, we looked at stress and pausing. We learned that stressing the key words in a sentence can help the listener understand the meaning. We saw that pausing can give the listener time to think about the information, which also helps them to understand. Next, you can test your understanding of stress and pausing by playing the game that follows this video.